Hello people, Carlito here once again. This time with an update on my free Elixir giveaway. So, um, we've not had many attacks, far less than I actually thought I was gonna have. Um, and in actual fact, last night, um, no one attacked me for the Elixir. The only attack I got was someone after my um, Dark Elixir with Lightning Bolts, which um, didn't give me a shield and then no one else attacked afterwards, so that's quite strange. So here we are with the defense log. Um, this is from earlier on in the day yesterday, so there's another set of attacks after this. But um, this player, on the face of it, looked like they were going to do quite well. Um, but as the video goes on, they undo all of their good work by some really stupid gameplay. So let's let's see how this unfolds. So they've started off with archers, which is smart. Um, the way to get this elixir is to use archers, just as they've done uh, there. You know, don't get yourself in the range of the other defenses. Um, don't use barbarians because they'll get they'll get hammered by the wizards. Use archers and you'll get it all. The king comes along and um, on the back of this fight actually I've moved the king's location because every time there's a defense he comes out because he's a hero and he gets battered. Um, which is fine, you know, he, he does a job I suppose. He does waste people's time and he, he does kill a few troops. But it's just a bit irritating coming back to your base and seeing that the king is asleep because he got his ass handed to him. By um, by some troops, so especially given that this is you know free elixir and I'm I'm basically encouraging people to attack me. I don't want to keep on losing the king for that. I'd rather he got knocked out for a worthy cause. So um, they've triggered my clan castle. Um, they got quite a lot of my elixir, um, and I thought that was going to be the end of the fight. But we'll hang around in this section of the base because they don't do anything else they don't attack they don't release any more troops for quite a long time so i can only imagine they were sitting there thinking what else can they do to this base to get any more loot they clearly didn't want to attack the elixirs anymore maybe they've run out of um of tier one type troops maybe they, did, they didn't have anything else left in their kit bag to come after the elixir but they still want to do something um and, and here is that something, they've released giants against level 9 walls, and there's two level 10s in there as well. The clan castle's already been triggered, so the archers are going to come in and, you know, own them. They, they've barely scratched the wall, so that was a waste of giants. Uh, they could have done a lot more with those in the next fight. Then they've released, I don't know how many that was, five wall breakers again against level 9 walls level 10 in a couple of spots totally useless um, waste of elixir and it just undid all of their good work because um, they were doing so well anyway uh, that, as I say that was yesterday earlier on in the day later in the day we had another attack so let's get into this one um, so as you can see that the very last attack was someone lightning bolting my base uh, seven or so hours ago um, but I've had my, my elixir on show now for about three days, maybe a, a touch more. Um, I think XE Play was the first player to get me, um, just down here, and they did okay. But you know, less barbarians, more archers would have been much more useful. Um, so a couple of decent attacks, but considering my elixir's been on show completely for um, quite a number of hours offline certainly all all overnight and at periods throughout the day i've not been attacked as much as i thought i would and i didn't get attacked at all last night for my um elixir which was strange but this player probably has done the best in fact they have done the best out of everybody so let's see what they did and i can't believe i'm actually having to highlight one attack as a good attack here i thought everybody who wanted the elixir would get it it just doesn't seem as if that's the case I wonder if it'd be the same for gold, um, although I'm not in any hurry to put my gold storages outside. But this player, you know, used barbarians followed by a line of archers, got the top elixir very, very quickly, which is exactly what you'd expect. And if I was, if I saw this base, that's exactly what I'd do as well. Maybe with some goblins as well to speed up the process. 
Um, now the mortar there is just raining pain onto those um, arches on the left. But still, they've done a, a healthy amount of damage. They've taken out the third storage. My king is again gonna um, get involved. He can't stay out of a fight. And on the whole, you know, that's quite an efficient fight. They've, um, they've got the vast majority of my elixir and they've only used T1 troops. So good for them, good victory. Um, I'll keep it like this with my legs outside, we'll see how it goes, but in the meantime, let's say bye from the king. Yeah. Tasty. See you soon guys, bye for now.